Hey everybody, Fatbird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Welcome. Hey everybody, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you guys. We've already got a bunch of people here. Hey, looky there. Carrie's here for the alcohol. All right, Carrie. <laughs> what are you drinking? Green Bee Explorer, first time. Oh, welcome. Thanks, Green Bee Explorer. It's so much fun when you're here for the first time. Yes. <laughs> Karen Radford is here and Nikki's here. Oh, uh, Green Bee is a vintage reseller and blogger. Nice. Fun. What well, is, what's her picture? What is that? It looks like, like the facade cool. of a building. I like that. We're going to have to check out Green Bee Explorer. Yes. Yes. Oh, my mom's here. Carrie is having a Diet Coke with extra ice. She's asking. Oh. Me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get on yeah. that. I told her I'd get right on. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's here. Hey, Joy. Left Lane Finds just came over from Jeffrey's Live Sale. Her name's kind of like ours. It is. We rhyme. Fiber Finds, Left Lane Finds. That's fun. All right. Precious Lavender Buttons, welcome. Carolina Princess, welcome. Do, do, do. I'm looking for people I haven't seen yet. Sandra, welcome. Lisa Hartman is first time. There's our favorite person ever. <laughs> Don't tell Michelle yet. Michelle will be mad. At Michelle's you. gonna be mad. Hi, George. Michelle, I wouldn't stand for that if I were you. George here? I haven't seen George's name yet. <laughs> Holly Potter. Welcome. Hey, Holly. Carolina Princess washed in inventory two halls today. Nice. Look how productive you are. Very nice. Found again, welcome. Found again, welcome. You were you had a cool sale. I only got to see the end of it, unfortunately. I was busy the, earlier in the night, but I'm gonna go back and watch the replay. Oh, and there's George. Yeah. There's there Karen Dondelinger. Welcome, Karen. And Teresa. There's George. Hey, George. Precious lavender buttons. I think that's Joanne Baber. Precious lavender buttons. I think so. I think she goes back and forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joanne Baber. Oh, look, Karen Radford. Love the haircut, Laura. Thanks, Karen. Oh, yeah. Carrie's like, Laura, your hair looks lit. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Oh, Laura got her hair did. <laughs> I hope Alvin's here, the guy that does my hair. I was like, man, you better tune in tonight because you did a really nice job on my hair and you'll probably get a lot of compliments. <laughs> I don't see him yet, though. <laughs> Vinny. Hi, Yay. Vinny. There's Debbie. Hey Debbie, where are you at? The, where are you at right now? Mm -hmm. Where are you traveling today? You're welcome. Hey Michelle and Cindy, bestie Michelle. Michelle, what have you been doing today? There's Mary. Welcome. Hi Mary. Lisa, first time here. Yay! Yay. We like first timers. Okay, so for our first timers, we usually at the beginning ask. What are you drinking? Mm -hmm. So it's Friday night. We're unwinding. Laura and I are having Chardonnay. That's right. And we have a toast actually tonight to start off with. We do. I don't know if Katie's here yet or not. You guys know that are here every week that I have a daughter named Katie. And today is her birthday. Happy birthday, Katie. So happy birthday, Katie. Yay, toast. And happy Friday, Katie. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Laura's traveling to go see her daughter tomorrow. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what I've missed here. Lots of love for your haircut, Laura. Oh, that's so nice. Hi, friends. It's Stephanie. Welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Let's see. <laughs> I heard you tweeting a few minutes ago. Yeah, I saw your comment. <laughs> that was funny. Jeffrey's selling away over there. Yeah, he is. He was doing good. See, no, George is supposed to be driving. Oh, no, George, we've outed you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> More love for your hair, Laura. That's so nice. I'm telling you. What do you think? Do you like my hair? I love it. Okay. I think it looks really good. <laughs> I like it that length. Kenny. <laughs> your hair looks great, too. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anna. Oh, hi, Anna. Anna, I like your pillow. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Anna is my sister's friend, and they're watching 
in the living room and Anna brought over a pillow that's shaped like a bird. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Well, I have to say, that's quite a compliment when we have watch parties happening. I'm telling you. Right? Even if they're our family. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a watch party's a watch party. Let's see. My <laughs> thing shifted. I saw somebody was having red wine and then I lost it. Of course. I'm terrible at the chat. Ooh, first timer too. Welcome, Molly by golly. I like that name. And look at her. Look at her picture. Isn't that cute? How long are the big fat elephants? <laughs> so there was the red wine. Awesome. Hey, Michael Todd. Dr. Pepper. Crystal Maybe Light. I should do that. What? Click the button. You'd probably be better at it than I am. <laughs> Sweet tea. First timer, Carrie Webb. Hey, Carrie Webb. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so again, for our first timers, don't go away because the Fat Bird 5 starts at 9.15. It's like less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. So every Friday night, Fat Bird finds, sells Fat Bird 5, which is five <laughs> items. Well, say that three times fast. I can't. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> awesome. This week coming up, just while we're waiting, you know, and welcoming everybody this week coming up is our anniversary week. Yes. Okay, guys, if you're not subscribed to us, be sure to do that because next week we're going to have some giveaways in, in honor of our one year anniversary on YouTube. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. So make sure you're subscribed. Tuesday's video, this coming Tuesday, we're going to put out a video that tells you how to win some uranium glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to give us away some uranium glass next week. That'll be fun. It's exciting. Everybody loves that. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're subscribed so you know how yeah. to win. Yay. V8. Water. Katie. Wave. First time. Shelby. Welcome. Mountain Dew. Yes. That's my uh, guilty pleasure. It's Mountain Dew. <laughs> Not diet though. No, it's true. But Mountain Dew. Someone cut their hair. I did. <laughs> I was going for the all the same length kind of look and then it just ended up this short. I wasn't really going for this short, but anyway. It looks really good. <laughs> Ooh, mint tea. That sounds good. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Lois Hoover. That's kind of a new name to me. And if I've missed you before, Lois, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to be sure and say hi. Where do you see Lois? Oh, it was right. right. I missed it. Right there. Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah. Welcome, Lois. Hi, Michael Todd. Ooh, Daisy D. Jeffrey sent me. Nice. Welcome. That Jeffrey. He's a nice Nice guy. Jeffrey is very good to us. <laughs> he really is. He sent Virginia over as well. He's a sweetheart. So, yeah, we always start off. Um, I, didn't, I didn't hear um, Barb say on the sale, because we don't get to watch mo most of it, um, if she got her mystery box or not. I didn't hear her say either. Mm -hmm. We were getting ready for our flipping and sipping. Yeah. So, yeah, we always start off and say hi to everybody. At 9.15, we sell five items, and then we play games, and we show some vintage Calls and answer questions. We got a new game tonight. We do. <laughs> it's awesome. We got one of the old games and a new game. Fun. Okay, I'm gonna skip. Don't don't be mad at me. I'm gonna uh, skip down and get live with everybody. Love the new do makes you look 25. Hey, I will take 25 all day long. <laughs> all right. You guys are so nice. So how have you been doing this week? Uh, this week has been good. It's not so busy at the bank. Somehow, we have, uh, in Paducah, they went ahead and did fall break for school. Mm. Well, when they do that, it, nobody does anything. <laughs> I feel like. I know mom's not busy at Layman. Interesting. It's not busy at the bank. Maybe people are traveling and they're not here. Yeah, that's what I mean. But, I mean, I'm just, the reason I'm surprised is because this year, I feel like everybody's been on fall break all year long. True. <laughs> like, what are they doing? True. I hear you. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I'm I sorry, I was reading something there. I want to apologize to everybody because we've missed two weeks of putting out videos. Yeah, that's not like you. It's not like me. <laughs> we normally put out videos on Tuesdays, and then, of course, we do flipping and sipping on Friday nights. So, in the past month, We've done two group sales, which we don't normally do. So that took up a lot of time for us. Mm -hmm. We, um, what else have we done? Oh, we did a yard sale, which took up oh my a God, tremendous. A yard sale. If any of you guys have done yard sales lately, you know how much time that takes. Oh, 
Ask Sarah on Thrift U. She's been complaining about it too for like two weeks. It's just so much work. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a lot of work. So we've done a yard sale. My mom got married last weekend. And you know what we did? We did a tailgate reception. For, it was COVID friendly. It was COVID friendly. She was so worried. It was just going to be a little small. It was just a little small ceremony anyway, right? Mm -hmm. And But she did invite some friends, you know, and of course family. And then anybody that wanted to stay after her church. And I was like, and she didn't want to have anything. And I was like, are you sure? You don't <laughs> want to just have some cake? I mean, everybody wants a piece of cake. And then she's like, well, I don't want people to feel, you know, like they're in danger or they're not social distancing or right. whatever. So we had a tailgate. We did. We should have had a pic we should have put a picture up here. We should have. So we bought this delicious cake from a local bakery. We sliced it individually and put it in little to go containers. Mm -hmm. And we just set up a little tailgate. Yeah, we wrapped the napkins and the forks and people mm -hmm. could just come by. And a, lot, a lot of people, I know you were taking pictures, but a lot of people drove by and like yelled out the window. Hey, can we have a piece of cake? So I'm like, Nikki and I like took the cake to the car. Yeah, <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. So, so that's what we've been doing. Plus, we've been sourcing a lot. We've got a lot of hauls. We've got a lot of video to, yeah. to produce. So we need to spend this coming week making a lot of videos because we've got a lot to show you. I know, and, so, and we got a lot to catch up on. Yes. So we are going to get back on track this coming week with our big anniversary like kickoff one year on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do some giveaways. It's going to be awesome. We're back on track now. I'm a little scared. Why? Well, you said there might be a blooper or two. Yes. <laughs> on Tuesday's video. They can't be about me. Oh, they will be. <laughs> All the bloopers are you anyway. I think that, <laughs> I think that's not fair because I can't edit. So you get to choose all the bloopers. It's true. Just don't do the one where I said, see you there. <laughs> Somebody said, did you video the yard sale? We did not. Oh, we should have. We should have because it was kind of a disaster. We kind of got rained out. And we had to pack it all into the garage. and Yeah. I mean, we still made money, but. You know, yard sales aren't like they used to be, you guys. I guess, I mean, with COVID and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's just not the same. Used to, you know, people would prep for yard sale and get the newspaper out and make their list and all that kind of stuff. And they just, you don't get that much traffic anymore, I don't think. Right. But we did pretty good. It was great. Oh, we did. We salvaged it. We came back the next day and drug it back out again and sold another couple hours. Yep. Yeah. Grew up in Owensboro. Yes, we know where that is very well. Yes. I've been to Owensboro many times. I used to play a lot of softball there. Yes. My kids, um, their dad has family there. Mm -hmm. So we've been there a bunch of times. What was that ball field called? Was it Panther Creek or something? Or maybe that was Bowling Green. No, I think that sounds familiar. Panther Creek Park? I think that sounds I familiar. I played a lot of softball there. Yeah. yeah. The kids, the kids, um, they go to a lot of Holiday World outings yeah, and stuff there. You know, Owensboro is kind of like Paducah. It's it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a small town, but it has a, there's a lot going on there and it's right by Evansville. So that's a cool place. Cool. Okay. We're one minute to go to Fat Bird 5. So I'm going to go over the rules real quick. Okay. You is that okay it. with you? It's okay with me. Okay. I'll just sit here and read my comments okay <laughs> okay so if you've never been to a reseller live sale before here are the rules it's gonna be awesome i'm trying to figure out what vinny's doing vinny's poking fun at me somehow but i think i missed it oh i'm sure that he is oh well <laughs> okay <laughs> carrie said what's the over under on how many mystery boxes we're gonna have tonight? one we've got one mystery box tonight <laughs> just one i'm not gonna laura got really mad at me that day i did five <laughs> So we're not going to do that again. Just wait. One of these days. I'm Maybe like, we'll do I'm it again one day. <laughs> not yet. You just wait. It'll I have to wait till she forgets about it. It'll it'll be me. <laughs> okay. Here are the rules. We're going to show you guys five items. Every item has a item number and a price. We will give you the price. We'll show you the item number. The very first person who uh, puts the item number into the chat will be the winner. Okay. Okay. Now then. This is a little bit different than other resellers because we're streaming to three platforms tonight. We're streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope. Now, you guys who are on YouTube, you cannot see Facebook and Periscope's chat. You guys on, on Periscope and Facebook, you can't see YouTube's chat. 
Nobody can see each other's chat. I can see everybody's chat. It's coming in in real time. We are streaming from StreamYard and we can see everybody's chat in real time on our end. You yes. can see everybody's. I hate that you guys can't see it. I agree. So like, here's an example. Anna's on Facebook. So she said, oh, thank you. H.C. Fisher and Panther Creek. That's right. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first person that comes through on our end on StreamYard will be the winner of the item. If you win an item, we need three things from you. We need your name, we need your mailing address, and we need your PayPal information so that we can get you invoiced and get your items to you. Our email address is fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. You're doing so good because I just am reading the comments. I'm sorry. I want to be in the chat because I'm like, there's all this stuff going on. Like, like for example, like George, what's happening? How did I miss you and Yvonne together? I need they to know. They put out a video. I Where have you been? You didn't tell me that. They put out a video together. Do I have to tell you everything? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Now then. Also, one more thing. When you send us an email, we will invoice you plus a shipping estimate. Okay. So based on where you live, we're not sure how much the shipping will cost. So we'll tack that onto your invoice. Vinny, that's funny. I'm sorry. Vinny's answering me. Am I annoying you yet? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I think everybody knows the gist of it. Okay. Plus, we just hit 200 watchers. Yay. Yay. We've only done that a couple times. have gotten over 200 watchers, so that's exciting for us. We have one sort of Halloween item. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a Halloween item. Okay. So, <laughs> without further ado, here is the Fat Bird 5. Yay. I feel like we need like a music We do. That. Maybe I should make some music. Oh, yeah. Us. Definitely. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that next time. <laughs> okay. Start us off, Laura. What do you have? Um, well, since they ask about a Halloween what? item. Oh, no. <laughs> See, now you're doing it. <laughs> I need help. A term I just flew into my mouth. Jamie. Jamie, stop it. Where are you? What? Is she kidding? I mean, because <laughs> if she's not kidding, that means they're swarming somewhere. That is serious. That's not Jamie. Everybody pray for Jamie. Jamie. Okay, I'm sorry. I just have to tell this. Oh, my gosh. When I was in college, I was at my boyfriend's house in college. He, he lived in a god-awful apartment. You know how guys are? How oh, yeah. How horrible living conditions they can live in in college? Yes. The termites swarmed the apartment in the apartment. If you've never seen a termite swarm, you have really missed something. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen. And here I was in the apartment. They were coming under the door because they swarmed out in the hall. And I was had a broom. And I was just sweeping for my life. <laughs> These termites. So, Jamie, check on the termite situation. Get, get a hold of it. Oh, no, Jamie. Oh, no. Okay. We need to move on. We're going to make everybody sick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we've got, Laura. Okay, do you want to start with the semi-Halloween item? I want you to start with what you want. Okay. Here we are. We found an afghan. Actually, my mom found it. Rhonda. Look what Rhonda found. She found this really cute afghan. A little teaser. Videos to come. Yes. Our family members have made little hauls for us. They have. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. My mom called me the other day. She's like, Mary Beth, I'm at this thrift <laughs> store. What do you think about blah, blah, blah. And I'm getting ready to show you what she found. Yeah. And of course then, oh, that's right. That, so that's what this video is. That's our content. Today. Yeah. But then my cousin Sherry, she's had a competition with Guy to see who has the best haul. So it's really great. That's fantastic. I'm going to get up and show this better. Okay. You need me? No, it's not very big. So this is just a little treat for you guys because it's super cheap. It's going to be super cheap because look how cute that is. It's not but, very big. But it's not very big and it's got... It's really a little bit ratty on the edges, but there's no holes. But you know, like when you put Halloween stuff out, it looks kind of spooky and you're, it's supposed to look kind of torn up and messed up and everything. Let me show so, you the edges. This is kind of a good mix. So there's no holes in the middle that I've seen. In the middle of it looks really good. It's just the edges are a little bit unkempt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's no big deal, but I, it'll still be really cute with all your Halloween decorations. Wouldn't that be um, cute on a little tablescape? 
Yeah, did you guys see just now at Jeffrey's sale that owl thing he sold? I don't know if one of you guys bought that or not. It was so cute. It was like a little latch hook looking kind of owl. And I was like, that would be cute with the afghan. And this side, the edges on this side look really good. It's just the edges on the other side. Yeah, so anyway, because of the condition and stuff, we can sell that one for $9. $9? Yeah. So you guys need that for your Halloween stuff. $9 and it's number 27. $9, number 27. Michael, you're leaving us already. Well, thanks for joining us for a few minutes. Good night. Michael Todd. <laughs> Bye, Michael Todd. Okay. All right. Here we go. That's so cute. I think it's cute. Okay, guys. So the first person that I had come through for the Afghan, Karen Dondelinger. All right. Thanks, Karen. Um, sorry, here we go. You know what? That reminds me, Mary Beth. We had one item from last week that wasn't claimed, and it was the Afghan from last week. That's right. And I think that probably this person may not even know that they won. Oh, maybe not. Because we didn't get an email, and then we got an e we had an email address for this person, and they didn't answer, so maybe we didn't have the right email. Right. So, if you're the person that got the... Should I say who it was? Well, yeah, you can. It was Joanna Beck. Joanna, if you're here, if you're in the chat, we had you as the winner last week for an Afghan. Um, if you don't want it, that's totally cool. But if you do want it, I want to make sure that it gets to you. Yeah, and I don't know who the backup bidder or anything was. So, if anybody else is interested in that one from you last can, week, you can just email us. That's right. So, yeah. Joanna, if you're here, we want you to have your Afghan if you want it. Okay, now we've got these little daisy plates. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. You want part of them? Sure. There's you six can, of these. You can hold them up. Six. And look, they're like, I was trying to look them up. They're like, they sort of look like lacquerware, right? Yeah, or like melamine. But yeah, but they might be, uh, but they might be melamine. George is here. George, what do you, <laughs> what do you think these are? <laughs> George is like working the crowd. That's right. <laughs> he's like, he's waving hi to all his fans <laughs> out there. There's the back of them. They're unmarked. Oh, Joanna, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Yeah, maybe it's fatbird. Fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Yeah. So it's your it's yours if yeah. you want it. So no problem. Try us again. But I knew I knew something happened. Yeah, me too. Okay. So they're adorable, right? Yes. And surely these can't break when you ship them. Although, the minute you Ooh, say that. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> yeah, but there's six of them, and they're so cute. They're, they would be cute. They're little dessert plates. Or you can hang them, or you can put them in your hutch or in your cabinets. You can do anything with those. Yes. And so, you let's see. They could be $12, $12. For, the, for the set of six, and it's number 38. $12, number 38. Someone's asking for the email address, so oh. you can just show it again. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Maybe I'll just keep that up there. Those are adorable. I like those a lot. What do you think? I like stuff like that. Okay, you want to do these next? These are your favorite. Sure. Mom. There's my mom. Hey, Rhonda. Yeah, Guy found those daisy plates, so that's one of the... You said 38, correct? Yes. Okay, so the first person that I had come through for number 38, Diana Kalis. Mm. Kalis. Kalis. Awesome. Look at those balloons in her picture. That's super cute. Oh, I like that picture. Ooh, those hot air balloons? Yeah. That's awesome. Wouldn't that be fun? I think I would be scared. Yes, I would be terrified. I mean, I think I would be terrified, but I would really like to do it. I don't know. I don't know if I could, uh, could manage. Yeah. Thanks, Diana. Okay, what else do you have? Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that. It's a favorite. Everybody loves uranium glass. <laughs> right? That's right. I love it anyway. <laughs> we have two Sherberts. Sherbets. Annie Sherberts. Key, thank you so much. She's bragging on my hair. Thank you so much, you guys. That's so sweet. I've recently found out, you guys, that Sherbert <laughs> doesn't have an R in it. For the most part. For the most part. We were at the <laughs> store. We were getting sherbet for my mom's wedding. Yeah, punch. for the wedding. For the tailgate reception. And Laura was like, 
is this really how this is spelled? And I'm like, no, I was testing. I, oh, said, yeah. I said, did you know? You said, how do you spell Sherbert? And I was like, I don't know, S-H-E-R-B-R-E-R-T? Because I said, oh, you say Sherbert, too. Because I used to say that, too. I was like, it's I mean, Sherbert. Everybody says it that way, right? I didn't know. I didn't know. Anyway, at the store, all of it, every single package was S-H, like this, like George says it, Sherbert. I was like, what? I was like, my life is a lie. I mean, yeah, there's the R, there's the first R, but a lot of people say it with the second R. B-E-R-T. They right. pronounce it Bert. My life is a lie. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. And it was just funny. I couldn't resist. It was pretty funny. Okay. We've got two Sherberts. Yeah, these are super cute. So, so ice cream in them too. Oh, definitely. They'd be really cute. Two for $12 and they're number 32. $12, number 32 for the uranium glass. Somebody said their name was Mr. Buys a Lot. Is that for real? Oh, that's fun. That's cute. <laughs> Somebody said Sherbert. What are his sister work? How's your wine? Oh, it's great. What kind is it? Custard. Custard, Custard. Chardonnay. It's really good. It is good. Do y'all need refills? I do. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so the first person that I had come through, Karen Dondelinger from Periscope. I had you first. Thanks, Karen. I will send those with your Afghan. I think I saw that Charlotte, our little lamb chop Charlotte. <laughs> lamb chop, not cookie Charlotte. <laughs> our little lamb chop Charlotte got her... Blanket, she said. And she's all the way over in England, so I'm, I'm glad she got it. Good, already. good, good, good. Who knows how long it takes to get stuff over there. I would just assume that it would take forever, but yes. she got it. Correct. Okay. What number were the plates? <coughs> 38. I just want to look back. I don't think anybody claimed those. I just want to be sure that I didn't miss something. Nobody claimed the daisy plates? Correct. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, they did. Sorry. I've had I a wrote down somebody. I just had a brain lapse. I think that, that's hard to say. I thought there was. Sorry. Problems. I put them in the pile that had no buyer. And so I got confused. <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot says, LOL, my wife wants me to be Mr. Sells a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot. Are you single? <laughs> she said, and then she said, of course she's married. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Oh, Sandra, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. You guys are very sweet. Yeah, refresh for a minute. We'll take a, we'll take a quick break. If you're behind in the chat, if you're seeing our numbers or if we're saying the numbers and people are bidding, just take a quick break. We'll refresh and we'll uh, wait yeah, for you. Yeah, and I'm going to answer this one. Juniper Rose says that's so odd because Karen never shows up for me in the chat at all. That's because she's on Periscope. Yeah. So, uh, yes. We stream to three platforms at once. So we go to Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope. And so you guys can't interact with each other's chats. You don't see them. And so, yeah, we may revisit. We're just testing it out. Yeah. It may not be the best thing to. It's a good marketing tool for us in that we can reach a more, a broader audience. But people, I know some people don't like the bidding aspect of it because. And, and just, we thought that the, we thought that the, it might solve problems like if YouTube was having trouble or StreamYard or whatever right. one night, but. Last week, I think Periscope didn't connect right. Like the Karens <laughs> didn't get anything that night. Karen yeah. Radford or Karen Dondling, I don't think. Yeah, Periscope dropped out last night. And Periscope's free. Yep, so you can try it out if you want to. But yeah, that's just something we're trying. But um, I hate that I hate that you guys can't see the, the chat. I so. agree. Okay. Oh, Karen Radford. Yes, I did. Sorry, you did get something. I guess one or two items you guys had to sit out, right? <laughs> Oh, good, Karen. Yay. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. What else you got? Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. Do you want to do this or do you want to do this? Which one of those two do you want to do? You can do the owls. Okay. Okay. This is I'll funny. hold it up for you. I, I, I'm not going to tell on myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell on you. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got this cute little owl planter. Let me take down the email. There you go. So you can see it better. And look, I bet you guys recognize, I did not recognize it at first, but once I started looking at pictures, 
the little face on the owls, the little faces are pretty recognizable. They're Joseph originals. Joseph originals. Mm -hmm. So we were looking at this tag earlier. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Laura, Laura don't, says to me, don't say it. Laura said to me, does that look like that says Jorge <laughs> originals? And I was like, yeah. I, that is what that looks like. And then we realized what well, it actually said. I don't know. See the J and it looks kind of like an accent mark. And then I didn't really know. And I didn't really expect it to be Joseph originals. <laughs> then we, uh, we quickly uh, realized that we were silly <laughs> and that that says Joseph originals. <laughs> oh dear. We need to make Jorge originals trend. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it also has, <laughs> <laughs> a little Japan sticker on the bottom. There you go. I think George is sharing about Periscope. Oh, George is on Periscope right now. Yes. Oh, did he? Did you switch, George? Because I feel like he's been on Periscope the whole time. He says, "I'm Jorge, I'm Jorge original." <laughs> yeah, if George is saying something about Periscope, maybe you should put his comment because no one else can see. I am. We did. Oh, I'm behind. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, he's just. Oh, that's so funny. He was on YouTube too. He said, just to "Oh, say hi gotcha." To everybody. So yeah, he's just a, a little cute little owl planter with the owl with his little baby. Okay, you guys. Before we bid on this, can anybody tell me what the holes are for? Oh yeah, there's two holes in the back, right here and then right there. I don't know if maybe this was. You... I mean, you wouldn't hang it right because it's got those little feet at the bottom, right? All right. right. I don't know. Does anybody know? Well, we're lagging, so we're not going to know until. Yeah, we won't know for like 15 <laughs> seconds. Jorge the antique nomad. <laughs> Jorge is Joseph Long, long Lost Brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, I call him Jorge all the time. Gorg. <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. Okay. What do you have on, on the little plant? George, I owe you one for taking the, you know, for distracting everybody from that stupid story. <laughs> Ah, oh, somebody says that you can hang it up if you want. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Drainage? Uh, maybe. Well, they're kind of, yeah, they're on the maybe, side. They're maybe, kind maybe, of though. up high. So I don't know about that. Maybe. Okay. Well, it can just be a mystery. And it's $11. Did we say that it has a little Japan sticker? Yes. Okay. It has the George... <laughs> The Jorge Originals, Joseph Originals sticker, and the Japan sticker on on the bottom right there. This is my. This is the, really the first piece I've ever seen. I hear people talking about that all the time. But yeah. In my defense, really haven't ever seen that signature before. Oh my god. Okay, so at, at least I caught it before somebody else had to tell me that. True. I would have been really embarrassed. I would have been like red. Okay, it's eleven dollars and it's number twenty eight. Eleven dollars, number twenty eight. On the planter. I know you love that little saying. <laughs> Mary Beth doesn't like, really like sayings or anything, but that's pretty cute. I like it. I like <laughs> everything. <sighs> it looks like we already got a bit. Right? Hold on, I'm looking. Okay. Sorry. It shifts. It shifts and then I can't see it. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, my first person is another Periscope user. And I've got vintage tidbits. We've got several tonight. Yes. Oh, Charlotte Lamb Chop is on Periscope. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte Lamb Chop. Sorry you didn't come through first. But I do have vintage tidbits as the winner. Yeah. Awesome. Do we know you as something else, vintage tidbits? I, I think. Is that one of the Brinkley's? Mm. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. It all it all just kind of blends together. <laughs> Sometimes it does, doesn't it? It does. I'm I'm not good at it to be honest. Hey Dawn. Welcome. Yes. What hey, else? Dawn. Okay. Karen says they're deserting YouTube for Periscope. Okay. So then our last, our fifth item mm -hmm. is none other than a mystery box. It's a mystery box. And it's one. It's, it's one just one mystery, mystery box. box. Okay, so 
Don't don't oh. be mad at me, Periscope users. Periscope users, you guys are exempt. You guys cannot win the mystery box. I think everybody's mad at you. <laughs> are you really gonna do that? Yeah. Only YouTube users. Well, now they're gonna be mad at you. You know. Switch think, over. Switch over real quick. <laughs> yeah, give them time. I'm going to give you like 30 seconds to switch. Yes. We're going to do mystery boxes. It going to be YouTube only? YouTube only. Mystery box. Did you hear that, Periscope people? Periscope people. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Antique now had so he was telling Karen, he's like, shh, don't tell them. You're, the stream's ahead. Is it a Halloween item? Can I know that? I don't think so. I don't think I don't think so. No. We don't have a lot of Halloween items right now, actually. That that Afghan was about as Halloween-y as we've got. Yeah, we haven't got a good we haven't found a good stash yet. Yeah. To buy. It's True. pretty you know, it's kinda hard to find now. Yeah. This is just the demo box, so it's empty. Um, but this we usually do ship the mystery boxes in this size priority mailbox unless you buy other stuff and then we have to like put the mystery box items into your other shipping box. Does that make sense? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this. I'm looking, I'm trying to read along. You're not even listening to me. Charlotte Lamb Chalk was on Periscope, but I don't think that Charlotte Cookie was. I don't think I've seen her tonight. Charlotte Cookie is the quote funny one, right? Yeah, this, we'll say that. this Charlotte is Lamb Chalk. But I thought you said Charlotte Cookie was on Periscope. I haven't, seen I haven't seen Charlotte Cookie. Oh. Charlotte Lamb Chop, but she's back <laughs> on here now. Oh, okay. Somebody was like, take five. <laughs> Into the S to the. I'm so glad that you think this is cool because, well, this might be <laughs> a disaster. Okay, so just while we're, while we're waiting... Oh, Mid-Century Wasted says, I have an unopened mystery box here waiting for me to open. Ooh, so fine. I was going to let you guys comment. It, has anybody got a mystery box that they've just gotten? And tell everybody how you like it. Because I know Empty Nesting 2 was on here, and I missed your comment. Because Mary Beth won't let me read the comments. <laughs> I have to just catch them as they're, like, flying by. You make me sound terrible. So, Empty Nesting 2, you liked your um, mystery box, right? Edward, it's a mystery. You don't get to know. Oh, here she is. But here's the deal. So we sell the mystery box for $15, and we promise you that it will be worth $15. We won't just stuff it full of newspaper. <laughs> That's right. And we do add shipping to that, just depending on what part of the country that you're in. Yeah. And it usually weighs about two pounds. Yeah. Normally, we fill it full of smalls, so little things. And good night, George. George is driving. He's got to start driving again. He wanted to stop and say hi to everybody. He's driving to Seattle, I think, or from Seattle or something. Jeannie Marie. She loved her mystery box. Oh, good, Jeannie Marie. Yay. And Anne. Oh, good. Yay. Daisy wants to know, do you get to know what's in the item after? So we do have a couple of uh, people who have bought mystery boxes and have posted videos about them. And we have a playlist on our channel. Oh, have you already done that? I did that. That's so nice. Yeah. So the people that I have seen videos of them unboxing our mystery box, I've put them on a playlist on our channel. That's great. Yeah. So you guys can check it out. Yeah. Michelle, I don't know about the elephant question. I don't know. I didn't see it, Michelle. I'm sorry. Well, you ship to Canada. We do ship to Canada. It is pricey, as you well know. Right. So we will send you a shipping quote. Yep. Michelle, I think I need a mystery box. What about my elephant question? I didn't see the elephant question. I know. Me either. Good night, Jorge. Ask Originals. us again, Michelle. Okay. Mystery box. Mystery box. $15. It's going to be full of stuff, and you're going to like it. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the, the item number? We got some different stuff. Uh, we need a teaser. It might be like one of those little creamers that you get, like little right. restaurant wear creamers. <laughs> <laughs> it could possibly be that. <laughs> How many elephants will fit in there? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. That's a good question. Okay. Only, at least one. Only YouTube users. I'm not taking any other bids. Only YouTube. The first YouTuber who sends me the item number will win. Laura, what's the item number? All right. So the item number for the mystery box is 
41. $15, number 41. Yes. So I can't believe, I'm so impressed that you already have the playlist going. Thanks. Yeah. <sighs> do, 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 do. Hey, we got 230 people watching. Welcome, Hi. everybody. It's good to see you all. <laughs> Jamie, I missed something too. Jamie, you'll have to just, can you just. Christ oh <laughs> can you just share again, Jamie? <laughs> I'm laughing at Nikki, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> I know you can hear her back there. Um, That's like 30 minutes. <laughs> Jamie, what happened to you? You have stitches. You look like a prize fighter. What happened? Now you, you've eaten a termite. What the, what the heck is happening to you? Jamie. Okay, guys, the first person, don't get mad at us. You're always going to look like the first bidder on your end, uh -huh. but you're not. Yes. It's the first person that we see. And the first person that I see on my end right now, Joel Nadel. Joel. You're Congratulations, Joelle. You did it. You have the best internet today. You do. Congratulations, Joelle. You did it. And thank you so much. And there are no guarantees with the mystery box, but uh, last time when Mary Beth like sold five mystery boxes, we had somebody really, uh, really wisely include a couple of their likes. You know, the things that they like mm -hmm. when they emailed us that they won the mystery box. Oh, yeah. And so um, we threw in one or two little things that they liked that that we just happen to have on hand. Yeah. We can't promise you that no. the things that you like are things that we have on hand. But if we do have them on hand, we'll try to include them. Yay. Okay. Well, there's there's her answer. What? Jamie. I had a skip. Ah, gotcha. Oh, bless your heart. Hate that. My mom had some skin cancers on her face and stuff that she had a terrible time with, didn't you, Mom? She had like a skin peel. Mm. You know, have you ever heard of that? No. Well, it was a lot more painful and kind of extensive than I thought. So, so yeah, like, do one more mystery box. Oh, just a couple more mystery boxes. Do another mystery box. <laughs> Laura was mad at me. The last time we did this, oh. I was like, hey, let's just give it to the first five people. And Laura was like, what? Do we even have enough stuff to do that? I've like, got plenty of stuff on hand. <laughs> Not today. Maybe next week. Yep. Maybe we'll do more next week. We'll have to come up with something special because it's our anniversary week. Maybe we'll only sell mystery boxes next week. Hey. We could do like themed mystery boxes. That might be fun. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to think about that. We'll come up with something. And we'll come up with some way for more than one person to win a mystery box for next week. Laura. Do you have a bonus elephant? I think we do. So if you're new, <laughs> if you're new, it's not always five items. Sometimes we have a bonus elephant. What do you have? Do you have a cute one? I do. I've got a really cute one. He has just... <laughs> we have. He has just a little bitty tiny boo-boo, but that's it. Oh, yeah. Laura would shank. Well, I just... I don't know how she got to be the one that's Mrs. Popularity now. <laughs> After I suggested it a long time ago, like when we first started doing them, I'm like, you know what? We could offer more than one mystery box. That way, more than one person could win, like the first few people could win. Since it's a mystery box, with you know, they could all bid on the same number. And she's like, nah, let's just do one. <laughs> Here's the oh. bonus elephant. He's kind of a cream off-white well, off color. Well, no. He's kind of yellow. Is he? Yeah. It's hard to see in this light. My lights in here are really warm. Plus, hold on. Let me take these, these spotlight graphics down. He's like a creamy yellow. Yeah, he's a... There you go. He does look cream on camera. He looks a little yellower in person, but not, not tremendous. I feel like if you had bright white lights in your house, he would look cream color but in oh, okay. here in here he kind of looks yellow because my lights are really warm but there you go now laura's mentioned that he has a boo-boo so he has a little crack right there on the top of his ear but if you display him this way nobody will ever know <laughs> 
And he's a bonus, so, he, you know, he's just cute. <laughs> he's adorable. Wouldn't he be cute with, like, some little, like, two or three little succulents there? Or two? Wouldn't that be great? Somebody told Misty the other day she should sell air plants because she always says for the air plant. Now. That's true. Hey, Southern Mermaid, I haven't seen you on any of the chats that I've been on this week, but I made my personal account be Mary Beth FBF, and I have an orange bird. <gasps> Did you really do it? I did it. Southern Mermaid's the one that always tells mm -hmm. you that, isn't it? Yeah. So so now if we want to get on at the same time, yeah. you can go on your account and right. do it. Yeah. So I did that this week. That's all your idea, Southern Mermaid. I got on a few uh, live streams this week as my new account, and people thought that was funny. So I just wanted you to know that I did it. I took your advice. Zeno. Zeno's now on Periscope just to confuse everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Zeno. Zeno. We love you. When are you coming back to see us? When are we going shopping again, Zeno? Okay, Laura. I guess we don't have to have George. Zeno, you could just come shop with us. George is out gallivanting across the country. Yes. Okay, Laura, sell this cutie. Okay. He's $12 and he's number 35. $12, number 35. Auntie Christy says, the last two weeks, Laura's had blue on. I like blue. Laura loves blue. And... I don't have my nails in, but I like to do my nails with the orange and then have the blue shirt on. You're so branded. I know, right? Keeping <laughs> up with the brand. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. Ah, oh, Michelle, you almost made it. Michelle, not quite. Sorry, Michelle. It was Brooke. Brooke, congratulations. You won the bonus elephant. Yay, Brooke. Brooke, we just mailed you something recently, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I recognize these names from shipping labels. Okay, so remember, if you were a winner, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. If you're Joanna Beck, send us another email because I missed it. Or yeah, sorry, Joanna. That was my, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I just didn't see it, but I didn't see it. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> I've got it ready. It's all packed. It is. It's like ready to go out the door. It's ready for you, Joanna Beck. Yes. All right, that was the Fat Bird Five. Yay. Michelle. Well, hell. <laughs> Michelle, I'm sorry. Michelle, don't be mad at us. <laughs> Brooke oh, says, good. yes, I got the blue picture and it came to Good. Day. Hopefully that came intact. Yes. Yeah. I probably. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, stop it. If you, you're, you're, people... if you didn't miss it, if you missed it earlier, you're always going to appear first on your side. Zeno says, MV. Tell me your troll account again. It's Mary Beth FBF. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mary Beth FBF. Oh. And it's a little orange bird. Here, I'll get on and I'll say something. Oh, that's funny. That'll be funny. Oh, Carrie got her owl shakers today. Carrie, I love those owl shakers. And Karen says, just want to say I love the daffodil bowl. Thank you so much. Oh, good. That was so pretty, Karen. I'm so glad you got that. And I know you said your mom loved them, too. I thought that was gorgeous. There she is. Charlotte oh, it's Charlotte Cookie. There's little Charlotte Cookie. <laughs> Hi, Cookie. Hey, Charlotte. There. Oh, there you are. There's my troll account. That's great. If you see that, now you can be a troll on all these other people's channels. That's so funny. It's terrible. You're going to have to work on your troll insults. <laughs> so, yeah, that's me. If you see that pop up on a live stream, don't think that somebody's duped us. That's actually me. <laughs> Look, you um, have made Southern Mermaid so happy. She just can't even. <laughs> it was her idea. She gets all the credit. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Fun. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that these items are making it intact. Oh, my first piece of glowing glass that isn't green. Cold Water Foundry, I loved that dish. I have to show something. Oh, yeah, wait. This, this is content coming at you here. I have content. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carrie's going to put you in timeout on your troll account. Okay. <laughs> she is... Going to show you another piece of something that's not green that glows. Yes. It's very cute. I didn't know it would do that. Oh, but, oh God, be careful. I don't think you have to, Nikki. Okay. 
Okay, so let me show you this. So I have a little storeroom in here, right? Oh yeah. All my stuff is in this extra bedroom. Mm -hmm. I was in there the other day with my little flashlight because I get a kick out of the uranium glass. I just <laughs> like to look at it. And so I just turn this on and I look at everything. Yeah. And something in the corner <laughs> was glowing. Okay. This was on my mystery box shelf because I had it over there to put in a mystery box. Okay. I didn't think that it was anything. <laughs> I thought it was just a little <laughs> toothpick holder. Okay. So I've got this little piece of blue and white and Laura calls this, what do you call it? Well, I mean, y'all, isn't this slag glass? Slag, gr slag gr glass. Glass. That's hard to say. Slag mm. glass. Okay. Hi, Cindy with a Y. So it's cute. It's pretty. And I just had it on the shelf to go with our mystery box items, right? Mm -hmm. Little did I know. I don't know if you can Yay. see. Maybe the lights do need to go off, but look at that. And it glows green. Why does it? <laughs> Good job, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> we surprised her. <laughs> it is, I'm it. on it. Slag. Oh, glass. God. Whoa. <laughs> Check that out. It glows green. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fantastic? I love that. I just didn't know it would do that. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, you can turn the lights back on. Okay. That is fantastic. And I was like, I had no idea that yeah. that was going to do that. Me either. So, yeah. So, there you go. You never know what you're going to have. <laughs> it might be a different color and it might glow. So, check everything. Check check all of your stuff. That's my so advice. It's really hard to say after 18 ounces of wine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, that light is really bright Jamie now. Jamie said, run, Nikki. <laughs> oh, God. Karen Radford says $15. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to turn this down? Yes, a little bit. That's better. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, yeah. You, oh, yeah. Okay. Debbie, Debbie says, I can't wait to get back to Colorado to open my packages. I really okay. don't want to jinx you. I just hope it's all there safe and sound. Yeah. So, who knows? Who knows where we'll, what we'll do with this. If we'll put it on eBay or sell it in a live sale. I don't know. We're trying to get better at, at getting stuff on eBay. That's how we started. <clears throat> and so um, we like to sell on eBay, but it, <laughs> we haven't got very good at listing stuff yet. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you guys are fun. Somebody said, always check slide glass and end of day glass. Well, Sure. I mean, it makes sense now, but I just, I never knew that. And I, I never know. thought about it. I didn't know. But yeah. All right, cool. Nikki, you get the Tony Award for best lighting. <laughs> I just literally checked my shelf and two things glowed that I wouldn't think would. Awesome. Way to go. I'm glad. Look, look at us giving some content that's I'm, helpful. I'm so glad that that just happened. <laughs> Okay, 17. We're not doing that. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> okay. Do you have a game? I do. I wonder if some is do you think somebody's gonna get the little Yeah, I think we might have a T R O L L. <laughs> Carrie, we're not doing He's that. not an orange bird either. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna show Rhonda Davidson's hall? I mean, no, Rhonda. We have, yeah, her name's not Rhonda Davidson no, anymore. Rhonda. Isn't that weird? Yeah, people are bidding on that piece of Sandy Otto, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> $21. Grace, 5010H so I'm kidding. Oh, Michelle's going to give us 25 <laughs> Grace has given us 50 oh, I said so. That's so funny. I love our friends. They're so funny. Our friends are the best. They really are. <laughs> hey, Vinny, we do that too. We just keep stuff like in our car for days. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Rhonda went where? Yeah, my mom called me the other day and she was like, Miranda, I'm going to send you some pictures. Do you, do you want some of this stuff? And I was like, sure. So she had gone to this little thrift store. Ah, look, look. that is on camera. Yeah. Buddy said he heard that. <laughs> Hey, your name is still Rhonda Davidson on your screen name. You're going to have to change that. 
Rhonda, don't be offended. I still call my daughter Katie Davis. And yeah. By the way, has anybody seen Katie Davis on here? I haven't seen her yet. I saw Luke. She, he said that Katie's driving. Oh, oh, I did a birthday toast to you, Katie. Just <laughs> so you know. Okay, so yeah. Isn't this pretty? Do you think these are granny squares or do you think this is a different pattern? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. I think it's different. I don't think this is technically a granny square, but somebody's going to tell us right now that crochet is because... I'm not, I'm not for sure. <laughs> Southern Mermaids is 50. We are doing that. Sold. <laughs> but this is so much cuter at a distance than it is like all full, you know, yeah. and you can see the whole thing. I hadn't unfolded it yet. Yeah. It's adorable. This might go on eBay. Love it. We have good luck with Afghans on eBay. We do. So that might be where that's going. We sell quite a few. We do. Doesn't look like granny squares to me. I agree, Zeno. I'm not really sure what that pattern is called, though. Yeah, somebody help us out. I would like to be able to put that in my eBay listing, like what that pattern is. Mom, Michelle wants to know how the honeymoon's going. <laughs> Gosh, um, Michelle. New person, Soho, wants to see the Ibexes. Oh, the Ibexes. Oh, yes. Can you show us the sculptures well, on the oh, TV? I'm, I was like, I've been blocking them. So, yeah, we talked about these a, a week or two ago. Laura's mom found these Ibexes. For me. For Laura. <laughs> They're just living at my house for now. <laughs> but aren't those beautiful? And they have their original stickers. I am very much enjoying them up there. I'm, I'm, I am enjoying everyone looking at them and commenting on them. They're gorgeous. So pretty. I really don't have anywhere to put them at the moment. They can live here for now. Okay. We are not opposed to selling those, but we are opposed to shipping those <laughs> because they are so heavy and I would just be sick if one of those broke. So we might sell those one day, but I think it would have to be local pickup only. Yeah. And we just want to, we want to enjoy them for yeah, a while. We want to love them for a little bit. Yep. Do we want to play a game before we do the rest of this haul? Sure. Zeno wants to know where did you get those? Oh, so, Zena, so mom went to a sale. This person was having a sale, like, just, I don't know, just, just a random house. And oh, it's for the cat. Free. <laughs> he's free. Yeah, you can have the cat. He's, he's all yours. I'll put him in a box tomorrow and ship him <laughs> your way. Oh, yeah, Nate. Nate loves the Ibexes. He's not, I don't see him tonight, but, um. Yeah, mom goes in and goes into the sale, and there's a few things that this guy has priced and everything. And um, these were on his fireplace, which they would be they would be stunning on the fireplace because I used to live in a house that had that '70s looking yeah. built, built in fireplace all the way across the one end of the room. With yeah, so that's where those were, and he she was like, "Oh, those are pretty. How much are those?" $25. $25 for both of them. Oh my gosh. I'm like, are you serious, Laura? Oh, there's my Katie. Thank you for the birthday toast. She Katie. says, happy birthday. Michelle says, you do not want that beast. Talking about, <laughs> talking about the cat. <laughs> the cat. Yeah, he's, he's not, so mean. He's not, he's gotten nicer in his old age. Hugs, Debbie. Bye. Thanks for stopping in with us. Bye, Debbie. When he <laughs> Zeno, was, oh my God, is right. Yeah, I know Zeno. <laughs> When he was an adolescent cat, he was very mean. But he's gotten nicer in the last year or two. Whew. Yeah. He's gotten older. He's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like strangers. He makes the worst sounds you've ever heard if a stranger comes in here. Oh. Yeah, I've never heard a cat sound like that before. It's awful. Never, ever. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have a game. Okay. You liked this one, so do you want to play the movie game for a little bit? Yeah, I kind of like that one. Here, you want yeah, me to do it? it? Okay. I'll find one. Or do you want to find one and no, I'll play? it's okay. Whatever you want to do. I'll try to find one that's not easy. Okay, we're going to play. Oh, bye, Debbie. Yes. We're going to play movie trivia. Where are the answers? Oh, I see. <laughs> In case you've never played with us, the points don't really matter. Mary Beth doesn't like the points. I like to keep score. 
So take your pick. If you want to keep score, <laughs> correct answers on the movie game are worth 50 points apiece. And while we still got over 200 people, don't forget to subscribe because we're giving uranium glass away next week. Yes. Oh, and the other thing not to forget, comments. Come back and comment because that helps us out. It helps all of us YouTubers if mm -hmm. you hit the like button and if you come back and leave a comment after the video posts. <laughs> He's not really for sale. So it was a joke. What what can I ask you guys to comment? Let's let's say why don't you guys comment like on your favorite fat burn video? Wow. Yeah. Great. Let us know. Yeah. After this video posts. Yeah. Okay. If you don't want to do that, just put a heart. Jamie always starts with 10,000 points. Oh. But don't, seriously though, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to give away uranium glass and we're going to give the instructions out in our video on Tuesday. Your Mad Men look-alike clock. I can't do it. I can't I do that. Oh, there. Uh, yeah. Okay, why can't I do that? I don't know. Oh. Did somebody say I, something about right the clock? There. No, but it just shows really cute and from this angle. I like my clock. <laughs> okay. What's this movie? Here's the game. What's this movie? Okay. It is. Don't say it out loud. Well, I'm just trying to guess. It's some kind of military hazing. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the guy from um, the movie that had Deborah Winger and Richard Gere. What? Oh, maybe that is Richard Gere. It is. Who knows? Is, are they telling it yet? Are they saying it? Somebody's got it. Officer and a gentleman. Very good. Did you know that? No. I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know that. Officer and a gentleman. Lots of people got it. I know. Hi, oh my, you were the first one to get it. You get, like, a lot of points. Richard Gere, he was really hot in the day. Really? With... In, the, in that big string of movies, like in that time period, Pretty Woman, uh, Officer and a Gentleman. I was going to tell you something about that movie, but I guess I won't. I'll see if you ask another question first because I might give away the answer. Was he hot or was he like dreamy or was he just good looking? Oh, what would you guys say? Well, how would you call him? He was a favorite of my mom's. My mo mom, why don't you answer that? Dreamy, maybe like McDreamy, like uh, like Grey's Anatomy, McDreamy. Karen really? Radford says, "Is it really is the same as is it <laughs> really?" Oh, did you do that? Yeah, Great. when you said he was hot in that movie, I was like, "Really?" Oh. I love Karen Radford. Cookie says, "My favorite is my first appearance. I show it to everyone who <laughs> goes to my house." My mailman has even changed routes. <laughs> All right. I love Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte, you never cease to entertain me. Somebody says he was sultry, handsome, dreamy, creamy. <laughs> I think she, I think that June meant dreamy. Yeah. Mom says still got it. Oh. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Yummy. Right. Masculine. Classic dreamy. Well, you know who he is. You know, he's really hot in the in I'm un, like, you know, the movie Unfaithful. Yeah. He's he was pretty hot in that. Well, although I guess the I guess, so was Diane Lane. Yeah, so to say, I guess I guess the affair. Diane Lane was the hot one. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean she was too. Smoking really equals is it equals drink? Drink. Ask me another question about that damn movie. Okay, God, <laughs> Laura's cursing. Laura. Laura, your mom's on here. Sorry, mom. My mom's on here. Okay, here's a question. Who are the actors in this film? I oh. think we've already talked about that. You okay. know what happens in this movie? No. Am I going to give away something? Don't, you... don't talk about it. Okay, what year was this film released? Mm. What year was this film released? Uh, <laughs> Jamie can't drink. She's on painkillers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say... I don't think it was as late as 86. Karen says 86. 86. I'm going to say 80. 
You get extra points for making Laura curse. <laughs> I'm going to say 84. 81, 82. 82, found again. You're the winner. Yeah, I it was, it was 82. Yes. So Green B. Yeah, he makes this Explorer. huge romantic gesture at the end Annie of the B. movie. Deborah Winger is working in the factories, slaving away every single day. And they have, of course, this on again, off again relationship. But at the end, with Spoiler this alert. with this roaring epic music in the background, yeah. he comes in and literally sweeps her off her feet in oh. the, off of the factory line, picks her up, <laughs> picks her up like this, <laughs> and carries her out. And she takes his little military hat and puts it on her head. And it was so romantic. I can see that you have been really affected by this movie. I have been. Great. I was how old when that movie came? I mean, you know, I was like 15 or something. 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. I've expected that all my life. <laughs> that damn movie. Laura is really moving. Someone, someone's going to come in and sweep me off my feet. Zeno says bar. Okay. I agree, Zeno. <laughs> Up Where We Belong. Yes, that was the name of the song. <laughs> Good job, found again. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, that scene was epic. <laughs> Is it? No. Up Where We Belong. How does that go? I can't sing. I know how it goes, Is but it? I can't sing. Where it's... We Belong. Yes. Love this. Da -da 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 -da. We could be heroes. Is no. that that movie? Is that a different movie? That's Moulin Rouge. That's Moulin Rouge. Yeah, We Could Be Heroes is not it. The first part you were singing is it. Yeah, in Moulin Rouge, I guess they switch songs. Yes. It's a mashup. It's a mashup. So that's like my experience with that song. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I was negative years old. Moulin, Moulin Rouge. Me too. Great movie. Me too. I was negative years old. She said everyone was affected by that movie. Don't say negative years old. God, Green, drink. Green Bee Explorer said it. They oh, have to she's it. new. We're going to have to teach her. <laughs> Green Bee Explorer. Laura doesn't like any sort of age jokes. Yeah, I don't know. What, what am I thinking? I don't know why we should play these games that inevitably that's going to come up. <laughs> right? Yes. Everybody needs a drink, I guess. That's why. Green Bee Explorer, you have to drink. Sorry, Sorry, Green Bee. If you're drinking water, that's fine. You just have to have a drink of whatever you're having. That's right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have another movie. It's my turn to guess tonight, right? These are more my age group. Cheryl, it's true. She does have a great voice. That's right. I I used to could at least be able to carry the tune well enough for you to know what I was singing. Had thyroid surgery, though, and I can't at all anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, also, if you're, you're new, we tease a lot. We tease so. a lot. We don't mean it. <laughs> we love all our watchers so much. So much. Okay. What did Grace say? Wait, what? Wait. Oh, wait, this is funny. You got to do the Grace one. Richard yeah, Gero had to load me on the forklift before he could have run off into the sunset. <laughs> Grace, you get 50 oh. points. Grace, you get 50 extra points. Absolutely, Grace. <laughs> and so he goes, and welcome to the show. Yeah, and Charlotte <laughs> says, let's all drink. <laughs> okay, Absolutely. next movie. Oh, what an epic movie. Everybody's going to, like, get that one. I bet you could even get that one. I don't know this movie. <gasps> You're <laughs> lying. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know this movie. Oh, Mary Beth. <laughs> I'm just, I've got to refill because we're all going to drink. We're... Get me some more, too. Okay. I think I've probably had too much. Oh. Everybody's going to get that one. You might as well be finding the next question about it, though. What's the answer, Laura? Kramer versus Kramer. My God. I could just cry saying that. Kramer versus Kramer. That is correct. And I think I've actually seen this movie, but it's been a while. Oh, let's see who got it. I'm trying to find the beginning. Star Galactica. Who said that? Denny Dahlheim. Kramer versus Kramer. Okay, here we go. 
Yes, you all, you guys are all the winners. You guys get all the points. Tearjerker. I think oh my, my mom, Do, Denny, Denny Dolahan, you get 10,000 points. I wonder what that little boy looks like now. He's probably your age. Denny gets all the points <clears throat> for Battlestar Galactica. Okay, well, I don't know. Who, Me either, Green who, who said what? Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Denny Dolahan. Denny, I think you're making fun of me. Well, somebody's got to make fun of you, Laura. Laura, God versus Kramer. This Ooh, I hate Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Okay, it's not Keanu Reeves. It's uh, what's his face? It's Justin uh, Hoffman. Yeah, for Pete's sake. It's uh, what was he in? Don't say it. Rain Man. Oh, I don't know either. Never seen it. Rain Man. Tootsie. Tootsie was funny. Um. Tootsie versus the Devil Works Prada. <laughs> yeah, I like That's funny, Carrie. <laughs> what did my mom say about it? Oh, Kramer. Yeah. Helen Mirren versus and Keanu Reeves. Everybody thinks this is Keanu Reeves. It's, mm -hmm. it's Dustin Hoffman. That's why I really like this game. I think it's fun. They take kind of a random picture from the movie, so... Rain Man was first was filmed in Kentucky. Get out of town. I don't think I didn't so. know that. Really? Somebody said you have a great voice. Oh, Sandra, stop it. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> okay, when was this Let's movie? talk about my hair some more, Sandra. When was Kramer versus Kramer filmed? Um, It has to be early like that, too, like that same time period. It might even be earlier than that. 78, maybe? You said 78? Maybe. Cor incorrect. 80? No, you can't guess again. Oh. But yeah, that's incorrect. Kitty says she met the real Rain Man. Really? That's cool. 87. Uh, Karen is incorrect. Oh, Michelle, you said 78 too. See, that's what no, I said. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, well, it was close. You said incorrect like I was like way off. Well, you were off by a whole 365 Vinny, days. How did you know that? Because he's awesome, Laura. He's always the one we have to explain these things to. We still have over 200 people. Somehow, yeah. somehow this is working out. Everybody put in how many points that you've got so far. I have a lot. <laughs> Ask us one more question about this movie. That's such a good movie. Okay, let's such see. Such a good movie. Oh, don't try it, Nikki. Oh, she did. I can do it. These are hard. Ask a hard one. That'd be good. What breakfast was Ted trying with dubious success to make for Billy the morning after Joanna left? Oh, that's what so sad. That scene is so sad. What breakfast was Ted trying with dubious success to make for Billy the morning after Joanna left? Oh, I can see the scene. I just don't know exactly what food they were making, but they were... He was so frustrated. The little boy was frustrated, and the dad was frustrated. And nobody could do it like mom could do it. If oh you know God. the food, if you know the breakfast item, then you get a million points. <laughs> what? Make it realistic. C.J. Ba Bailey, one million points. I was going to oh, say oh French toast. I was going to say pancakes. That's correct. Way to go, French C.J. Toast is right. That's correct. Oh, didn't you guys love that scene? So sad. Are we still talking about Kramer versus Kramer? Yes. Well, yes, you know, it's part of the game. I'm sorry, but <laughs> yes, we are. Let's talk about content real quick. Certainly, yes. Okay. Okay. So, also, when my mom called me to ask if I wanted, like, that app in, she sent me some pictures of some other stuff. So, I'm going to show what she, what she got me. So, we've got this little bowl, and it's got apples and strawberries in it. And it's a Japan bowl. That's a cute pickup, Mom. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Good job. And this little teacup. You strawberry lovers would like that bowl. That's cute. Look how cute that little teacup and saucer are. Isn't that sweet? I think that's pretty. That doesn't that look like that looks like something that someone would register for for their wedding. Like you used to register for <laughs> China. <laughs> Jamie, stop it. She said that earlier. There's too. content. Can you believe it? <laughs> Good job, Mom. So pretty. 
Here, I'm going to let you put that over there. Yeah, look, I think that's rare. It's kind of rare for the saucer to have the design yeah. in the middle like that. That's cute. And then she found this cute little commemorative plate. And this is a Bohemian Brethren Presbyterian Church in Nebraska. So that might be an eBay item. There might be somebody on eBay that's looking for one of those plates. Cute. Okay, so this is, oh wait, salt and pepper. And then we've got these cute little Japan salt and peppers that she found at her little thrift store. Well, those are kind of cute. For a quarter. Can I see one? Mm -hmm. Are they speckled or no? They're not speckled, but they do say Japan. Rhonda, you know they're supposed to be speckled if you pick them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, here's the good one. Here's the good part. Look, look, look. So she sends me a picture of all these cups. No one registers for China anymore. No, they don't. It's kind of sad. Hold this. Okay. So she picks up all these Corel <laughs> coffee tea cups. Okay. Aren't they cute? We should have drank out of these tonight. <laughs> That would have been so great. <laughs> oh, time, I don't know. I, I didn't again. I didn't put you in timeout. I don't know. I think there's been several trolls, and so maybe somebody accidentally hit. Maybe you. it was an accident, but I didn't do that. Okay, so we've got all these Corel coffee cups or tea cups, whatever you call these. But so I, she asked. She said, "Do you want these?" And I was like, "Only if they're cheap. Only if they're cheap," is what I said. Right. And so she calls me back and she says, Mary Beth, guess how much these were? And I was like, I don't know how much. And she said, a nickel a piece. <laughs> she got all of these cups for a nickel. That's adorable. So all of these cups that we're holding was, was only like a dollar and five cents. Okay, friends, all of you knowledgeable people, Michelle, bestie Michelle, take turns telling us what patterns these are. This one I want to know because this was my grandmother's and my da that lived with my grandmother, he's 92 and he still has these dishes and he wants some more. Here, put them closer. <laughs> so he doesn't, he really probably doesn't need these cups because he's not a big coffee drinker or anything, but he wants more plates and stuff. What's this pattern, guys? Okay. And then there's three different ones. Yeah. I think this is the, that one over there is Crazy Daisies or something maybe. So this is blue onion. Blue onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jean Marie says that. Blue onion. Elba says blue onion. Old Town Blue. Blue onion. Blue onion. Good job, guys. Very nice. Somebody says I have those. Yeah, they're so sweet. Yeah, and then we've got the green ones. Yeah, Charlotte, I can see you. Where's the onion? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Spring Blossom. I don't know why they call them Blue Onion. Is it Spring Blossom? Is that right? Spring Blossom? Crazy yeah. Daisy, I think. No, that's what Jamie and Southern Mermaid both say. Some oh, are... Crazy Daisy for the green. Nice. Yeah, I'm not super knowledgeable about this stuff. And we got a creamer, too. That's cute. A creamer. And then there's one more. Yeah, and then we've got this one. I think this is the woodland. Is it woodland or brown woodland or something? This was my grandmother's pattern. All of her dishes were this pattern. Okay, Jamie says spring blossom, crazy daisy. I think you call it all that. I gotcha. Mean, all of those names. Gotcha. See, so yeah, my mom got all these cups for a nickel each. Oh, crazy daisy is the nickname. See, we're getting we're getting schooled here. Yes. Spring Blossom is the name, but people call it Crazy Daisy. Brown weeds. Wait, I missed it. All the cups were 10 cents and less specially marked to be determined at checkout. I said, are these really a dime each? And she said, no, they're a nickel today. <laughs> Good job, Mom. Good job, Rhonda. Woodland Brown. Yeah, this is my grandmother's pattern. So I have a special place in my heart for those. Oh, they're based. Okay, here we go. A little more content. They're based on pirates' names. And then someone says, uh, oh, it's jumping again. She's Vintageous says, I sell a lot of Corel. Yes, Woodland is the pattern. All right, cool. Good job, guys. 
See, we don't know everything. No. Oh, my God, no. We depend on everybody. I mean. A nickel. Yes. In the grand scheme of things, we don't really know much <laughs> about this stuff. I mean, you know, because there's just so many different things to know about. Well, there's so many people that we can depend on. That's right. You know, like George and Zeno and all of our friends, Misty, we can just ask questions. That's right. And get answers really quickly. It's great. We love our viewers. Yeah, I was just looking for... Um, What's called compatibles? Is that what she's, what, what is that? What does that mean? What is a compatibles? I don't know. Are you, are you saying the cups are called compatibles? Did I miss something? I don't know. We might have missed. I probably missed something. Jamie, I need you to clarify. Mm -hmm. my, is, is that, is that, was that it? Was that the whole haul? Yeah, that was it. But my grandmother had these. And then she had the mugs, the mugs also, that look like the standard coffee mugs. Mm -hmm. She never used these, ever. They they were just always in the in the cabinet. She never used them. Did you not have any coffee drinkers in the house? Yeah, but they used the mugs. Oh, they I'm sorry. I didn't know what you meant. Okay. They didn't use these. These were just always in there. Gotcha. <laughs> Zena says, I only know what has rubbed off from Jorge. <laughs> Jorge. Oh, that's great. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Good night, Mom. I would like to know why the handles are different. Who said that? I, I don't know. Somebody that I just read. I don't know. I don't know. That's how. Okay. Jamie says, yes, the cups are part of the Compatibles line, Corel and Pyrex patterns. Gotcha. Good job, Jamie. Good job. Yes. Yes. Got it. The patterns are compatible. Got it. Like yes. They crossed over, so to speak, right? Yes. They went together. Okay. Got it. I don't know a lot about Hyrex and Corel. Yeah. Me either. You guys are the best. You guys <laughs> are the best people ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Charlotte's talking about her sale. We had to miss your sale. Yeah. We were Maybe. at mom's. We were planning for my mom's wedding. Yes. We can go back and watch the replay, I bet. Yes, I bet we could. I bet we could. Okay, I'm going to go to another movie. Another movie. Oh, that I like that movie. That's too easy. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. I I'm good at this. Okay, here we go. What is this movie? And go. Oh, that's a classic. You sure you do know this one? Nope. Oh, man. You're going to have to sing again. I can tell you that. It's got a famous song. Is that right? Yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Do you have this one? I do. Okay. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Karen Radford, Love Story. Aaron, that collection. Love story. True love story. Love story. Love story. What? Aaron's always here, and I just now saw her again, so I was just saying hi. We hi, love Aaron. Aaron. Aaron's so awesome. We need a comedy. <laughs> Friday the 13th. <laughs> okay. Yes. You're correct. It is love Super story. Famous. Super Love famous. story. Okay. Who are the actors in this movie? Yeah, who are they? Who are the actors... In this movie. It's an old movie. I mean, they're all... <laughs> Vinny just said who are the actors. Um, it's a little before my time, even. Just a little. Just a tad. Just a few years. And so I'm not super... Oh, her name's Allie something. Ding, 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 ding. Karen Radford for the win. Yes, Ryan O'Neal. That's oh, correct. Oh, Ryan O'Neal. Dang it. Lulu's got it, too. Karen... Yeah, Allie. That's correct. It's Allie McGraw. Oh, look. Found again. Got it. Right underneath there. Allie McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. You guys are awesome. Great movie. Vintage vinyl. I don't know. Me either, Katie. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Robert Redford and the girl. <laughs> well, that was close. That was a really good effort. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to ask any other questions about this movie because so nobody knows. Someone has requested a comedy. Okay. Which 
That looks like one there. Okay, I got one. <laughs> got it. Are you ready? Ready. Are you? I am. I'm not good at comedy, so. Fine. Everybody else will be. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks like a compromising position. It is a compromising <laughs> position. What is this <laughs> movie? <sighs> Left lane finds. I get minus points too. It's okay. Is this the answer? Is this? Jamie, this is made after 1990. So play. <laughs> Stop whining about it and play <laughs> we can't help it that your husband's not there to give you all the answers like always <laughs> oh oh yep we got some winners here <clears throat> okay meet the rockers no that's wrong <laughs> jamie i'm sorry <laughs> that's actually incorrect carol yes it has been still stiller there's something about mary no Meet the parents, Angela Marksberry. You get 10,000 points. Signing off, ladies. Good night, Kathy. Good night, Kathy. That yes. looks like booed on Kathy's picture. Yes, yes. Meet the parents. That's correct. Meet the Fockers. No, that's wrong. Sorry, Michelle. What's Meet the Fockers? Isn't that the sequel? It is. Yes. I think that's the sequel. Meet the Parents was the first So one. that's kind of tricky. It is. It's so tricky, but it was Meet the Parents. Well, that's not... Um, uh, What? Cameron Diaz, is it? No, it oh. isn't. It isn't. It's Terry Polo. Shirley. I mean, Charlotte said, oh my God, I meant Fockers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what year was this movie released? What year was this movie released? 96? No. You're the loser. Sorry. Nikki, no, you're wrong. No, that's not right. Come on, guys, you can do it. Elba, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, you Elba. Did it. You Elba. did it. Congratulations, Jamie got it too, and Melissa. You guys are the winners. Yeah, that's later than I thought. How long have we been on here? An hour 28. Okay. I don't want to keep you guys too long because I know you have things to probably do. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. In honor of Halloween and scary movies. Yes. I've got a good one. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Do you like scary movies? No. <laughs> I like to watch them. With you guys, I guess. This is a classic. <laughs> because it's funny, but I really don't like them. This is a classic scary movie. What you got, guys? Laura, do you know this one? I do. But I had never seen this before I saw it with you. Really? Yeah, even though it's an oldie. Oh. Let's see here. Zeno, Zeno, oh, Zeno, you got one. You were the first. You get 20,000 points. See, you hung in there and you did it. You made all 20,000 points. <laughs> Birds, but no, that movie's scary. Mm. Rosemary's Baby, yes. The Blob, no, but that's funny. Yes, yes, Psycho. Remember when my mom said The Blob at the trivia and it was right? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby is correct. Okay, follow-up question. When was this movie released? Rosemary's Baby, when was this movie oh, released? Gosh, this is an old one. It's an oldie. Uh, but it has to be 70s. Early 70s. It has to be like 72 or I'm going to say 74. Something like that. Hey, Rachel, have we said hi to you, Superior Girl? That's the first hey, Rachel. Time. It's hard to see everybody in the chat, as you guys know. It well goes know. really fast, so it's hard to do. I'm going to say 74 also. Somebody else said that, but that's what I'm going to say. 
Melissa, you're the winner. 68, really? 68, wow. Melissa. Way to go, Melissa. Let's see, Melissa got Good it. Good job. Somebody said 67. That was close. Oh, Connie. Connie, Connie. Connie. Jen Bootsy. Melissa. <laughs> Left lane finds. Hi, Rachel. Mm. Jamie, that is not correct. Angela said, can I redeem my 10,000 points for free shipping? <laughs> Maybe we'll think about that for next week. That's like a our, really fun idea. With our with our special um, our special anniversary night or whatever. Yeah. So, again, if, what you're, a great idea. if you're just now joining us and you haven't been on earlier, make sure you're subscribed because next Tuesday, or this, excuse me, this coming Tuesday, we're going to be giving away instructions to win some uranium glass. We're going to give some uranium glass away. Yep. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you know how to win. We'll do a giveaway and we'll do like some special prices on things and just all kinds of fun. So Tuesday are the instructions of how to win the uranium glass. Yay. <laughs> I got some points back. All right. What do you want to do? One more? Two yeah. More? Or we could do this other game. Oh, yeah. Let's open your other game and see what that's all well, about. Well, because, you know, we have to have cards to put in our package shoppers. Yeah, Laura likes to put game cards in with the packages. Although I couldn't find the ones with Thrift U last time. Guess where they were? I found them. I found them right. after, we made, after we packed them. They were in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking all over the place. She was like, where did I put those I was game cards? about it. Because we signed them. We put our names on them. <laughs> so we got those two, but yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's all good. Okay. Is this like trivia questions? No. Has anybody ever played this tri-bond? Has anybody got family game night at home? It sounds like denture cream. So you, I'm going to tell you three items. <laughs> denture cream. Drink. That's definitely an age. Well, it does. Gag. Okay. So I'm going to tell you three things, and you're going to tell me what they have in common. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be good at this. Let me give you an example. So like an example. An example would be. Uh, Lieutenant Mitch Buchanan. Lieutenant Stephanie Holden. And Captain Don Thorpe. I don't know. They're all like superiors. What do those three things have in common? They all have a title in their name. That's a terrible game. What's the answer? Characters on the TV show Baywatch. Okay. Let's do a different one. Okay. Let's do a different one for real. You look so disgusted by that. Dawn is giving herself an extra 40,000 points because she had to go to the bathroom. Oh, man. That's fine. I, I agree. And she's down the bathroom. I'm, um, I agree with that. If anybody has to go to the bathroom, they get an extra 40,000 points. <laughs> You're not in charge of the points. You don't even like the points. <laughs> okay. Number one, soda lime silica. Oh, no, I picked something I can't say. Borosilicate and fused quartz. What does that have in, what do those things have in common? Things I don't know what they are. <laughs> say it again. Oh, Carrie. Okay. <laughs> what did Carrie say? Let's give a category. You I'm unsubscribing because of this game. Oh. <laughs> what? We haven't even started playing yet. <laughs> That is Zeno got it. I think Zeno probably got it right. Zeno got it. See, wow. it's glass. Wow. Retro Ruby got it right, too. Good job, guys. Very nice. Look at that. You guys get a lot of points for that. Okay, you ready? Yeah. These are hard. I don't like this game. <laughs> God. Okay. Crunchy Frog, Dead Parrot, and Ministry of Silly Walks. Uh, 
Aaron said, I used to like this game. Say them again. Crunchy Frog, Dead Parrot, Ministry of Silly Walks. I don't know. Do I get it? Aaron said maybe my parents chose the easy ones. Aaron, we've only done two. Nikki says, wait, Nikki says Monty Python. Yes, indeed. Woo! Oh, wow. And so does Zeno. Woo! Very good. I don't like this game. <laughs> you need to find a better question, Mara. You need to find something good in that right. game. Okay, a bowling ball, a standard notebook paper, piece of standard notebook paper, and a pierced nose. Holes. Well, it's more specific than that. It has holes. That's not the correct answer. Punched holes. No. Holes. Zeno says, dead parrot becomes I'm a lumberjack. You have to watch that one at least. Yeah, it's because she's in here with us. Yeah, she, she's in here. She can hear us say it before <laughs> you guys do. Three holes. Vinny says that's not fair. Yes, three holes. Jean Marie, you did it. Three holes. Yes. Charlotte says big holes. I don't want to say holes again. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, old holes. <laughs> Lamb Chop says old holes. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, you ready? Here's, here's one. Okay. A split-fingered fastball. Okay. A musical key. Okay. And buy now, pay nothing till 1999. Split fingered fastball. Good night, Green Bee Explorer. I hope you come back. Like Charlotte. Charlotte found us by accident. Say them again. And then she came back. <laughs> Say them again. Good night. You said holes again. <laughs> A split finger. Drink. <laughs> A split fingered fastball, mm -hmm. a musical key. Oh, and Jean then Marie is good at this game. Buy now, pay nothing till 1999. Oh, pitches. Oh, Jean Marie, you're so smart. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty great. Very nice. Very nice. Pitches. Oh, and Southern Mermaid got it too. Very good. I would have never gotten that in a million years. Okay, here's I have a game. What do you mean you have a game? I have a game. Oh no, 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 wait. wait we've gotta have enough we've gotta have enough cards. I'm still in the Lawrence game. Can I do one more? Yeah. It's growing on me. Okay. Nikki's getting good over there. <laughs> Bye, Green Bee. Please come back, Green Bee. Thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> Mom, you're so good at being the hostess, helping me hostess. Mom's saying bye to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's easy. Okay, big shot, pressure, and piano man. I don't know. I'm terrible at this. Big shot, pressure, and piano man. I, I feel like they're going to start coming in here any minute. Billy Joel? Yes. Really? Really? Songs. really? Yes. Yes. Did you not get that from someone? No, I oh. said it myself. That was an independent thought. Oh, somebody saw your heads up. Oh, did, or did you say it? No, I'm getting ready to do it. How'd she know that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Grace just knows me all too well. Oh, did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> we're going to do a game. Here Are you ready? Go. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Movies. Movies. Okay, it's Demi Moore, and she shaves her head, and she's in the army. And oh, Jane, G.I. Um, Jane. I don't know that movie. 
Okay, she is. She sits by the fire and she's dirty and she waits on her step sisters and her step Cinderella. I don't know that movie. Oh, this is a funny movie. It's Sandra Bullock and it's Melissa McCarthy and they're cops and it's hilarious and and that that the heat is on. No, but it's you said it. The heat. Yeah. This is Jennifer Love Hewitt, and it's a 90s movie, and there's a guy in a in a raincoat. Isn't every 90s movie have Jennifer Love Hewitt? No, and he's in a raincoat, and he has, like, this big sickle, and there's notes. Scream. And it's the notes all say the same thing. I know I should know there's a There's a note, and it says this, and it's the title of the movie. I know what you movie. did last summer. I know what you did last summer. Laura, you did it. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys are good. G.I. Jane. Lots of people got G.I. Jane. Good. Yep, yep, yep. She is B.A. in G.I. Jane. I love that movie. Do you know Demi Moore was Pete. here in Paducah one time filming a movie? I did know that. You saw her in the bathroom, I did. <laughs> bathroom of the movie theater. That's great. I know what you did last summer. Yes. Yes. The Heat is the best. Oh, my gosh. I love that movie. That was funny. It is so good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you want to do your card game again? Or do you want to do this again? We can do one of mine. Okay. We can go, and then we can do one of yours. Okay. Okay. You ready? Wait. Vintagers, vintage. Can we play a game that uses science or math knowledge? <laughs> well, no. Because. <laughs> well, no. I was terrible at both of those subjects in school. <laughs> It would be really fun for you, I'm sure. It would be really embarrassing for me because, as my dad could probably tell you, that he got so frustrated at me trying to teach me math. It was horrible. It's like PTSD. And now look how good you're. I'm not good at math. math. I was an art major. Laura. Yes, science. You know what? If you guys will come back and watch, if you like all request it, we'll do trivial pursuit questions. Then you can pick. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do that. We'll have trivial pursuit some, sometimes. Yeah. So we've got like subjects. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We'll do that. We, yes. don't, we don't have them right now, but we'll, we'll do, do that it. for a year. Maybe next week. Maybe next week okay. we can do trivial pursuit. All right. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. The movie Steel Magnolias. Yes. You've seen that. I have. The 1997 cloning controversy. Dolly the Sheep. And the surrealist painting world. Dolly. Dolly. The answer is Dolly. Dolly Parton, Dolly the Sheep, and Salvador Dolly. Yes! yes. Very nice. I did something. Oh, that's clever. I feel so accomplished. Yes. Yes. Dolly. Yes. I can't believe it. Carrie says no serious games. It's flipping and sipping, not school. Gosh, Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie is angry. <laughs> okay. One. Oh, now it's your turn, isn't it? Okay, you go. Okay, you ready? Movies again. Sorry, science and math people. <laughs> we'll do a different category of heads up. Hold on. Okay, th this movie, they like reenact a sex scene, or she does in the in the restaurant, and she's like making a scene. When Harry Met Sally. Yeah. Love that movie. Okay, this movie is that guy from ER. I can't think of his name right now. And then there's George like, Clooney. Yeah. And then there's like twelve other people, and they do a hotel heist. Ocean's Eleven. Yes. This is a Quentin Tarantino movie, and it's kind of a western. And they're in the snow out in the middle of nowhere, and there's not seven of Crazy them. Crazy Eight or uh, Hateful Eight. Yes. Oh, the first rule of is you don't talk about Fight Club. Yes. 
I'm doing good. This movie is one on a rider and that other girl that's crazy. What's her name? Uh, Angelina Jolie. And they're like in an insane asylum and it's a nineties movie or maybe it's early two thousands, but I think it's the nineties. Angelina Jolie's not in that movie. Yes, she, she is. Uh, uh, um, also Brittany. the girl. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah. Interrupted. Yes. <laughs> you did it. Yay. Good job. I, th I feel like we were kind of good at that one. That how was many, a good one. How many did we get? We got five. Ah, that's pretty good for us. Let's see. Yeah. Sally. Harry Met Sally. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, When Harry Met Sally. What a great movie. Ocean's Eleven. Yes, you guys are correct. Kill Machete. Bill. That's your favorite movie. That's not correct. Who said Kill Bill? Yes, I love Kill Bill, but that was not it. Oh, look it at was, your cute picture. It was the hateful eight. Oh, elephants. Fight Club. Yes. Oh, no. I don't know what I just did. I think I just blocked somebody. <laughs> I hope you didn't do that. I'm going to go back and look. <laughs> Don't go back and look because you can't fix it. Jean Marie was blocked. Oh, no, Jean Marie. <laughs> I got to fix it. I did it on accident. It was an accident. You can't fix it. Yeah, I can. Jean Marie, you get. She's not on here if I blocked her. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I think she can still see it. She's just blocked. What? Jean Marie, you get 50,000 points because <laughs> Mary Beth just blocked you. Oh, no. I'm going to try to fix it. Zeno says, I can't handle When Harry Met Sally because Billy Crystal grosses me out. I know, but, you know, Meg Ryan. You, do you talk? Car Carrie said you just blocked Jean Marie. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. Oh, Jamie said she fixed it. You did? She How did you do that? She said she did. I didn't think you could fix it. Okay, I'm going to say something else for you guys. I'm going to give you another try bond question while Mary Beth is fuming over this. How thing. do I fix it? Nikki, can you fix it? What? I don't, I don't have any idea. Okay, i got to wait for you for this one. You'll you'll have to do that. <laughs> Jean Marie said she's back. I oh, used to like you. Oh, thank God, she's here. She said I used to like you. She said, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh God, I did that on accident, and I knew it as soon as I clicked it. I was like, Oh no, I just blocked somebody. Oh, <sighs> thank God you're back. Oh good, that really upset me for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Jeanne. That was awful. It was a misclick. I've had too much wine. Laura. Oh, here's a good question for you, Mary Beth. Mm. The flag of Japan. Okay. The flag of Canada. Mm -hmm. And the flag of Poland. Right. Don't, don't scream it out because. I'm sorry. I screamed it. <laughs> Her avatar matches that yeah. sentiment. Yes. Mary Beth <laughs> likes to play color the flag or draw the flag. Don't tell on me. <laughs> when it's Zeno, like, red and white. When we're Very good. when we're bored around here, I'll just randomly say a flag, like a country. I'll randomly say a country out loud, and I'll say, "Okay, whoever draws the flag correctly is the winner." Yeah, I never win. It's ridiculous. Do you guys know? I mean, you can't. I can't even draw like maybe four flags. That's the game. Draw the flag. <laughs> I'll randomly be going through notebooks in the house trying to find a blank piece of paper and I'll find like flags drawn in crayons all over the house. Oh, that's so funny. I got one more for you. But it would be funny if we were actually good at it. The funny part is we are terrible at it. Yeah, that is what's the funny part. We're bad at it. Oh, if I ever, if when I die, if whoever's going through my house cleaning all this stuff out, they're going to be like, why are all these terrible flags drawn all over this house? Like, could you draw the flag for Ecuador? No, but I could try. <laughs> I would make something up. You just make something <laughs> Carrie says, no wonder your cat is angry. <laughs> <laughs> and Carrie said, I don't want to play that game. <laughs> no, oh, we don't look at Jamie it. jumping in there with her little... Emojis so quick. Jamie, you're so much fun. All right. Michelle, can you put emojis for flags in that quick? I think Michelle is probably chat. asleep. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think
think this is, I feel like this is too easy for you. Mm. An Easton Reflex Model C405. What? A Louisville Slugger. A bat. A Flying Mammal. A bat. That's easy. Well, you're not supposed to get it that fast. You're supposed to give people a chance to guess. Well, I like to <laughs> come out on top. Oh. Uh, I am looking on eBay. Does anyone know Martha Miniature's girl's dress? Yes. I have heard it. My kids had those. Do you know a defining uh, quality of a Martha Miniature's dress? What? The bell? Yes. It has a little bell sewn in the big There's a bell in it. Skirt. Yes. Yes. I used to have bells in my dresses when I was little. <laughs> That's adorable. Yes. I had my, my nanny, my grandmother, nanny always dressed me up really nice. Aww. I always had bells in my dresses. That's cute. Did you have the little white socks with the lace around the edge that you turned up, down and wore the white patent leather? Yes. Mary James? Yes. It's cute. Maybe your cat needs catnip when you have wine. That's, Maybe so. I wonder he, how he would act with catnip. I Have you know. ever given him any? You know, we gave him some when he was a baby, when he was really, really Maybe young. Maybe that's what's wrong with him. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Maybe so. He's Maybe. being really good. He's back there on the couch with Nikki. We could do heads up again, like with a different category. Okay. <clears throat> Instead of movies. What should we do? I'm so glad that Jean Marie is back. Like the dingling kind of bells? Yes. Yeah. Precious Lavender Red says there are. Five hundred and a thousand dollars selling on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that that you guys fixed that because I I don't I don't think I've ever blocked anybody, so I don't even know how to get them back. So I'm really glad that you guys are on that. I appreciate it. Erin says I'd like a picture of that, Mary Beth. I'll try to find you one. Oh, get the cat to make the weird noise. Oh no. Well, <laughs> it's only if somebody Fair comes. In, oh, no. it's only really if somebody comes in here that he's never met before. If, so you know, you need to come over. Like, you and George, come be our guest on the special next week's anniversary. There he is. And we'll show it just like this, and we'll show you coming in, and he'll come undone. Hi, dude. Am I in the picture? You're not. Boo. Hi, Boo. Boo, kitty, kitty. He's so pretty to be so mean. <laughs> okay, here we go. What are we doing? Oh, another topic. Is Jean Marie really back, or was that a joke? No, she was. She said, "Oh, there she is." She said, "I used to like you." <laughs> my mom used to always have bells on my shoes. Did you? Did you have those? Not on my. So shoes. So you see, like I had them on my shoes. Like they made little bells with the little, um, you know, the shoelace holders, so that you wouldn't trip on your shoes when you were learning how to walk. Oh yeah. And then they just put bells in there. So cute. Okay, I'm going to try to find it. This overstuffed house. Hello. You just got home from work. Awesome. Hey. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to try to find a different category. Bow biters. That's what they're called. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. I'm going to so try pop culture. Oh, no. This might be terrible. Okay. I'm going to see what happens. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, this is a big controversy right now in voting. It's it's this this absentee ballot. Well, yeah, but what do you do with it? You take it where? Take it where? Yeah. How I don't do you, know. How do you do an absentee ballot? What do you do with it? Mail it. Mail in ballot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, she just did this song and it's uh she did WAP. Oh god. <laughs> Who did that song? Cardi B. <laughs> okay, this is Mike Ditka was the coach of this. The Chicago Bears. Yes. This team, Kobe Bryant played for this team and oh, Shaquille O'Neal. And now LeBron plays for this team and. Lakers? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know these. I don't know. Sorry, I'm not I'm not the greatest person. Yeah, mail in ballot. Oh, that Cardi B song. I played that song for Laura and I thought she was gonna die. I, mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think, what did you think of that song? I, I, I just can't imagine that something like that is on. 
in a public way. I mean, I know they don't play it on the radio, but my goodness. <laughs> I think the bucket and the mop got me the worst. Stop it. <laughs> Everybody's going to be, well, so I know people are going to be like, what are you talking about? We can't talk about it. Vintage Katie says not a WAP fan song. Yeah. Yeah. She just asked me about that song because Cardi B was the answer. The, the answer was Cardi B. I was just, I was PG. I just said the bucket and the mop. I just can't really. That was the only thing I could think of. Macaroni in a pot. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh. Nikki, you're going to make everybody unsubscribe. Oh. Elba, don't worry about it. Yeah. She's, don't look it up. No. She was just the answer to that question, but she's just really too much. Don't look it up. Really don't. It's offensive. Let's go again. Okay. More pop culture. I agree, Katie. Okay. Um, October is this month. It's it's about this sort of awareness. Breast cancer. Yes. I don't know that one. Or that. <laughs> or that. I don't know any of this. Oh, Mary Beth. I don't know any of this stuff. Mary Beth, you just... It's pop culture that you just went through 10 things. I don't know any of this. This movie, no, this TV show is just came out on Netflix today. It's like the sequel to The Haunting of Hill House. Oh, I don't know what the name of it is. I saw The Haunting of Hill, Hill House. This show is funny, and they put on costumes and they sing. <laughs> when, when do they do that? Well, they put on outfits, and they dress up like things, and then it's like... A singing contest. Oh, yeah. And you're supposed to get the masked singer. Yeah. I don't know this stuff. I guess I'm not up on things. You need to have an 18-year-old. So the a answers were Doja Cat. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Doja Cat. It's a person. What is that? Well, she's the singer. I don't know Doja she, Cat. Doja Cat sings all those TikTok songs. She's TikTok famous, and she just got her makeup done by James Charles. And then Brian Austin Green. I don't know who that is. You don't think I know that one. Leaf Erickson Day. Blackpink. Naked <laughs> Ballot. I don't, I don't know I those. don't know what these things are. I don't know those. This things. isn't my kind of category, apparently. <laughs> Just like tell us we might know it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more category. This is acted out. Oh God, this is great. I can't believe you're gonna do this. Will you hold it? Yes. So that I can see it? Yes. Okay, this is acted out. It's too much pressure. I don't know how to tilt the phone. Hold it. If I get it right, just do it forward. Okay. Skip. Are you winning an award? Yes. <laughs> You're shopping. Yes. Skip. Oh, I can't do that. What was it? <laughs> scare. Yeah, it was a scare. Oh my God. You're making a magic potion. No. <laughs> You're sprinkling. Feeding the fish. Yes. <laughs> Putting your eyeliner on. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. That was really funny. They're still talking about Cardi B, I think. I'm sorry that I brought that up. Winning an award. Yes, that's right. Shopping. Yes. Where's the paddles? For your game. <laughs> <laughs> Scaring. Yes. That was right. <laughs> What's Brian? Roofies. No, I was feeding the fish. <coughs> oh, that's Did funny. anybody get feeding what the fish? Nobody got that. Salt Bay. Oh, my God, Jin Bootsy. That's funny. Salting. 
What? what salting, is... like they thought oh. I was salting something. <laughs> it was eyeliner. <laughs> what a time to lose sound. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. Oh yeah, that was great. Was that okay? Yes. Another acted out? Yeah, another round of those. Was that funny? Yeah, they liked it. Yeah, that was funny. Okay, one more. The single best moment of the night. <laughs> scared me. I really did scare me. Yeah. One, scared me. One more round of act it out. Do you want to act it out? No. God, no. No. And then we're going to have to call it a, a night. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is so much pressure. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Skip. What? Yoga, Zen, meditating. Yes, meditating. <laughs> rolling. No, wait, it, actually, it's like this. Oh, rolling. <laughs> Kayaking. Yes. <laughs> Mascara. Yes. Don't sip on your glasses. Santa Claus. <laughs> it's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Laughing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look like Santa Claus. I skipped that one. <laughs> Painting your nails. Yes. Sweeping. Yes. Like the termites. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like that one went by faster than the other. Oh one. my gosh. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the answers were. That was it. Hang on. Meditate, yes. <laughs> to yes. <30 charades. laughs> yes, meditate was correct. <laughs> it was kayaking. Yeah, Jean Marie got it. I'm so glad you're back, Jean Marie. I felt really terrible about that. Kayak was correct. Mascara was correct. Mm -hmm. That one was good. You got that one good. Laugh was correct. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, oh. You're like oh, hold your belly. <laughs> Who holds their belly when they laugh really except Santa Claus? I don't know. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, nail polish. It was painting my nails. Yes. So, yes, you guys got that. I can't type fast enough. Sweet. Sweeping was correct. <laughs> Sweep. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Turning butter. See, Michelle, I thought it was a belly laugh. <laughs> so, hopefully, you thought that was funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was good. That was fun. <laughs> Do you have enough cards to put with our I packages? I do. Yes. Okay, thank God. We're going to have to wrap this up. Oh, already? Yes. It's time. Okay. We've been on here two hours. Okay. It's time to wrap it up. Okay, guys. Make sure you're subscribed because on Tuesday's video, you definitely want to watch that because we're going to give instructions on how to win a uranium glass candy dish. What? Hold up. What are they congratulating Charlotte for? I don't know. She sold. She sold. Oh wow. A bracelet. Oh wow, Charlotte. Awesome. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Make sure that you watch Tuesday's video. We're gonna tell you how to win the uranium glass. Yes. And it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I have a little candy dish to give away. Awesome. And then we might give some uranium glass away next Friday night too. Flipping and sipping. We're, Flipping we're, and sipping. We're still coming up with it, but it's got to be something special. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Laura, do you have anything else to say before we go? Yes. Make sure that you like this video. And come and back after this video posts and tell us what your favorite Fat Bird Finds video is. Yes. Or, or mm -hmm. moment or Fat Bird Finds moment like me calling her Santa Claus or yeah. whatever. That'd be great. <laughs> That's right. Okay, guys, I hope that you have a, a great rest of your weekend. Make sure you like this video and make sure you're subscribed. Check us out next week. Next week is our big one-year anniversary extravaganza. That's right. From being on YouTube, and we're going to give some stuff away.
That's right. And Katie, happy birthday. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys. Make sure you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Good night, everybody.